I say no often. Hmm, check that. Aside from what my wife needs, I say no often. The time I have in my day is incredibly valuable to me, which is why I choose to get up at 5 a.m. every morning by myself. If you've read Rob Sharma's book, The 5 a.m. Club, you learn the value of the victory hour, where you spend time planning or journaling, exercising and studying or meditating or praying. And it's the most productive hour of your day and it helps eliminate excuses while being at peace with yourself and others. And the power of no helps you reject things and learn that you can redirect that into where you need to be. And a pastor I love and respect once said to me, if you know where you're headed, you know where you don't belong. And that one always stuck with me because it's almost like having a little integrity helper on your shoulder, keeping you in check. Do I belong here? What did you say you were gonna do at 10 a.m.? Well, it's, it's 10 15. And my wife jokes with me that uh, I walk with too much purpose. She turns down going for walks with me sometimes because I walk with too much intention, she says. If she does say yes, uh, she makes me agree that uh, she gets to set the pace. And it's a lovely time of holding hands and making jokes or making plans to eat at our favorite neighborhood restaurant. But that little quote of reinforcing the power of no has helped me to manage my time efficiently because I get to see that time with what I get to invest in my wife, my kids, and in this case, for right now, my mother who is dealing with dementia and living her out her sunset years. Now, a person I recently, a person I trust, referred me thinking I might be a potential buyer for this member-based product that this person was selling. And the referral sent me a detailed message on how the product would make my life better, touching on several topics, and they wanted to meet with me in person. And I politely turned them down and shared some of the investments I already made in myself over the pandemic period and didn't want to waste their time. And in fact, writing this story and making this video is a fruit of that investment. The response, however, was a little disappointing. They let me know that they could not be a resource to me since I was not choosing to be a part of their program. And the person seemed very transactional and, and in my opinion, short-sighted. You can still say no and be generous. Another client called me to do something for them and I said no, but not without giving them a referral to someone who I thought could do a much better job than I could. And the call being that it became more of a 30 minute check-in where we soon enough uncovered, we were both studying the same real estate market. It was a place where she had grown up and I just happened to know about it because I'd been working on a deal in that market. And it was like, you were finding out you weren't the only person who liked to collect air plants, for example. And I love to help my clients achieve their business and commercial real estate dreams. And that often comes with a written exit plan to show how and when to say yes and no. So click the QR code and set up a time for a call and meet with our team today. We'd love to be a resource.